Hey, Matt. I thought it'd be a little bit of fun for both of us to play some football. You know, it's not something that we regularly played, but I thought it would be fun. So uh, hopefully you have received your football and a little pump and a tee and a tape measure and something to hold your cell phone so we can record this. So anyway, uh, here behind me, I guess there's a football field. Uh, you don't have to have a football field to do what hopefully you'll agree to do. Uh, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you. So I will uh, share my screen here. And I'm sure you've heard of this and possibly you've done this before. Uh, this is called Punt, Pass, and Kick. This game was formed, I think it was like 1960 or 1965. Um, I actually did it back when I was in uh, elementary school. So I guess I have a little advantage. I don't remember too much about it. Um, but uh, you go through and you punt, pass, and kick, and it's a challenge. So uh, I thought if we had all the same equipment, we could go out there and give it a try and do it live. Uh, we could possibly do Zoom or something else, but I would like to record it because I think it would be fun, uh, something different. You can watch me, I can watch you, so we can participate together and not be together. Of course, the best is obviously being with you and your family. So this is the first one just to illustrate kicking, uh, actually uh, punting, sorry about that. And uh, you see the ball happened to land on the 50 yard line. It could have landed anywhere. Could have even landed behind this guy, sort of like how I do in golf. But uh, punting will be the first part of it. And I'll show you about the measuring part, which is a little bit tricky. And then we have passing. Passing definitely is not one of my strengths, but I will hopefully do my best and do a little yoga and stretching prior. Uh, so I'll be able to have something at least somewhat competitive with what you'll probably throw. So uh, again, that's passing. Next off will be kicking. Uh, you'll have your tee and you'll be able to uh, kick that and mark that. You don't really need to have anybody else from family there, but if you want to, uh, be my guest. Whatever works for you will work for me. And uh, so you can see here is just the tee and the football, similar to the one that I sent you. Uh, may not be quite the same grade, but you and I are going to get about the same football. Next off, okay, this is a very obviously rough sketch, but this will give you an idea and just so you can uh, see what you're looking at. I have the zero yard line down here where my cursor is and the 50 yard line up here. Um, and here's the kicker and here's the camera on a little tripod and you'll get the tripod too, you should. And that one will point this direction. Hopefully we can see you or me and also see the football as it's being uh, kicked, punted or passed. It doesn't matter any one of those three. So if you kick this perfectly straight, you'll get the value of 50 feet. If you don't, and let's say it veers way right and let's add that up. So we add up the distance between what it could have been. And here we're taking about 30 feet, 10, 20, 30 feet, because it's not straight. Getting it straight is critical in pump, pass, and kick. Because some people that throw it shorter actually win uh, the competition. And this doesn't have to be a competition. I really honestly wanted to make it fun. So anyway actual score here would be only 20 feet instead of 50. So that's just an uh, example. Anyway, uh, I think that's about it. So if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to ask, ask me and I'm really looking forward to doing this. Let's pick a date, something that works for you and me and you know, pick a time where I'm not having to play in the snow or something like that and, or you in bad weather. So, uh, I am up for it and I'm ready to schedule it. Uh, I should have my uh, everything I should have to me by the 6th. I think all of yours will come by the 3rd. That's about it. Love you.